just got it. All right, guys, I am so sorry about that. Let's start over. Let us start over. All right, so are you guys hearing now? I noticed that my microphone was on pause, but it's back up and running. Okay, better. All right, guys, so let me start over what I was saying. I am so into cosmetics, skincare on a whole, that earlier... I was watching the comments on the chat way before we started, just when the announcement went out. And Lucy was asking a question like, does anyone know how to highlight? Now, personally for me, I was a little taken aback because I'm like, you know, Lucy could have asked me like way before now how to highlight. So I'm there thinking I am going to be using a palette to actually show Lucy how to highlight. And I brought out my palette and all of that. But little did I know that she wasn't talking about highlighting. What she was actually asking is how to highlight a comment on the, the channel, so on the live chat. So I still didn't put my highlighter on, so I'm going to do that like really, really, really quick. Lucy, I know this is not what you asked about, but I am going to highlight my cheekbones. And today I am actually using um, highlighter. Now, take a look at this, guys what I am doing here. I am highlighting my cheekbones for you to see that when you highlight your cheekbones, it can actually give the appearance as if your cheeks are rosy, as if your cheeks are filled with collagen, as if your cheeks are fully, fully lift and a titan okay so you saw me just now without the highlighter and i go very very easy with the highlighter and we're not here to talk about highlighter today we are here to talk about collagen but i just feel like you know just sharing that little joke with you that at first i thought it was about highlighting and i was like yeah i'm gonna show you how to highlight lucy you're at the right place but that's not so however i did do a twist to show you guys that you can actually highlight if you wear makeup you can actually highlight your cheekbones to have them looking as if they are full tight, firm, and boots them with a collagen. Today we're gonna to talk about collagen, okay? Now, why do I talk about collagen so much? That is because that is the question that I get asked a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. My email box is always like loaded with question on collagen. And I myself really like to talk about collagen. So we're going to talk about collagen today. We're going to share tips and how to boost the collagen. Now, if you're not familiar with collagen, collagen is a form of a protein which the body needs to keep the skin firm and, you know, looking amazing looking as if your cheekbones is all tight and lifted and plump and all of that good stuff some people tend to use natural collagen in the form of supplement some people tend to use products beauty products and stuff like that with collagen and some people tend to eat their way into boots in their collagen production and we're going to touch on every topic today we're going to talk about a good collagen rich diet we are also going to talk about things you could practice that to boost the collagen and also to have your skin lifted and firm and we're also going to talk about things that you need not to do to keep your collagen production boots in and booming. All right, so welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. How are you all doing? It is Sunday here in New York City. What date is where you're living? I know for some people it might be Monday morning and for some people it might even be Monday afternoon. I think somewhere like out in the Philippines are some people it's evening time and some people might be like midday or so. So I'm here, the sun is shining. Yesterday we had snow here in New York City, like snow for real, for real. And I was thinking that mm, 
we're not going to have any snow this year, so I don't need to go get extra salt. And I said that like about two days ago, and then yesterday down came the, the snow. So definitely I need to get more salt. But we're talking about collagen right now. And guess what, guys? Um, what does collagen do for the skin? And if you're new, if you know nothing about collagen, collagen helps to boost the skin elasticity. It helps with the skin firmness. And what happened is that the body produces that collagen. But as we age, the collagen tend to slow down. You know, when you get older, everything starts to go slow, 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 slow. And that is what happened. And when all of that collagen production start to slow down, what happened is that you starting to see wrinkles and fine lines on your skin, your face, your neck, your decollete, you're up, you're down, you're all over, is gonna start having wrinkles and fine lines. So what do we do about it? We try to help the body out by boosting the collagen production topically, internally, and we also can boost the collagen production with some exercises, which we are gonna talk about the very first thing on my paper is to tell you guys how to do a facial massage to boost the collagen production in the skin. All right, so let's do some shout out because I don't want at the end of the show I'm being criticized for, oh, you didn't. Hello, Nari Scott, how are you? Elizabeth Lasoso, you were first on the chat. Magdalene, 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 how are you? Happy Sunday. Hello, Hannet, happy Sunday to you. And we also have um, Dorit Burgess, happy Sunday, walking by faith. Hello, Ruth Broadley. And guys, today we have a moderator on the show, and that is, which some of you already know, if you're new, you don't, um, Lucy. So now you guys will notice that Lucy comment is highlighted, and it also will, um, huh, I don't know what happened here. I'm not seeing it highlighted. Okay, yes, so it's back up and running. So definitely Lucy comment will be highlighted with a little spanner. So you can actually watch and, you know, follow what she's saying along on the chat. All right, so we are back with Maya Morrison. Hi, Chichi, what happened to Friday show? I'm just joining in. Um. Friday was not a good day for me to have the show. In case you guys wondering what happened to Friday show, um, my light, um, they had some work to do at the house when that involves lighting. And when that happened, it mean that there's no light and with no light, it mean no internet, it mean no show, okay? So that's what happened. So I didn't even get a chance to come on and go on the community to tell you guys that there was not gonna be a show, even though I was trying to get the show up and going. So I apologize for that. And the show will be back up next uh, Friday. All right, guys. So um, M-A-H-K, hello, happy Sunday. Velma um, Gutierrez. Um, hello from Texas. Hello, Yasmin. How are you? And we have CZ Lee. The hair color looks good on you. Thank you so much for that. And walking by faith, love all my milk. I don't do dairy. And we also have some important tips for those of you who do not do dairy. And it's actually 440 in Michigan. And we also have um, Katie um, Yardbor, our borer. I think that's how you pronounce it. Hi, Chiji, it's so good to see you. Please, a little while since I've been able to see your live chat, but I always see them later. Later, I love your remedies and thank you so much for that. And it's 240 in Calgary, Canada. So as you see, a lot of us are having, oh, we have actually have two people from Calgary, I think, or let's see if it's the same person. Okay, 243 in Calgary, Canada, and it's 443 here in New York City. Now, what do you do? To help with your collagen. How are you starting? Do you start to see the sign of wrinkles on your face? Or are you finding that your skin is looking plump, radiant, and glowing without having to do anything to it? Comment, 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 comment. Now, the first thing, as I just mentioned, that we're going to talk about that can help to boost the collagen production in the skin is. Uh, facial massages. And I just saw someone asking how many kids um, I got. What I'm going to do for you guys, I am going to actually ask you guys to go on my Instagram page 
and I'm going to post um, a posting sometime this week. And you guys are going to go and you're going to ask as many questions as you want under there. I'm going to take some of those questions and I'm going to come on my show on a live chat and I'm going to answer at least 10 to 20 of those questions. Okay. So definitely stay tuned for that. And I know a lot of you have a lot of burning questions that you want to ask and I'm going to be truthful and I'm going to answer those questions. So this week, sometime, I'm not sure, but I probably should commit to a day. All right, so I'm going to say on Tuesday, I'm going to post something on my Instagram page. If you are not following me, following me on Instagram, look below in the description box. You're going to see my Instagram link and click on it and follow me on Instagram. Ask, when I post the, the, the posting, just comment on the there with your question. And I'm going to take those questions and I'm going to answer them right here for you guys. So you will get a little more, you know, inside on me, my background, and so on and so forth. Now, facial massages, you know something, guys? I'm going to keep it real. These short nails, they are not working out, okay? We're talking about collagen, but I got to tell you, they're not working out because I am so busy that I can't find the time to constantly, when my nails are this short, I got to constantly get them done two to three times a week because I'm busy. I'm in water every day, so they tend to, you know, peel off. When I go and I get them done with a little length and all of that, they could last me two weeks. But my nails grow so fast that I got to cut them. I got to groom them like every other day or two. It ain't working out. So with that said, we're going to do some facial massages. And don't you dare talk about my nails not looking proper today. Okay. So now that that is out of the way, a simple and easy way that you can have to boost collagen on your face, your neck and your decollete is to do some facial massages. Now, doing facial massages on a regular is going to help with circulation. Now, when you ex um, massage the skin and the blood start to flow, that is going to help to plump the skin up, wake the skin. I normally say it's going to help to wake the skin up and you are going to notice that the wrinkles is going to be smoothing. If you have deep laugh line, deep parentheses, all of that is going to totally fade away. Now, I'm just going to give you about two techniques that you can practice. I'm laughing because someone, someone just commented that they are in Winnipeg, I think. Let me see. I think it's, it just went right back, right away, like somewhere, and the snow is killing them. All right. So that's what I'm laughing about. Somewhere up in Canada, I think. All right. So a quick and easy way. A lot of people ask about my cheekbones. I get good comments about my cheekbones. I get really bad comments about my cheekbones. And daily, 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 I get comments about me doing some Botox. Now, honestly, guys, I can be honest with you like a 100% honest. Never, ever, 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 ever do Botox. Never do anything to my face except the things that I'm sharing with you guys. Now, do everyone in my family have a eye cheekbones? No. I think I, if I have a whole picture with me, they weren't like this pronounced. But what I do, I massage my cheekbones a lot. I mean, it's, I like my, my face. I think it's one of the better feature on my face, including my eyes and my lips. And anyway, just trying to be vain a little bit. But what I do, guys, I, oh my goodness, these nails. Anyway, what I do, I massage my cheekbone a lot, right? I normally just put my product on and I like to do this a lot. And sometimes I'm even looking like I'm doing that now. Just two finger, one finger, whatever you're comfortable with, put it right there. I'm using two fingers today because I normally use double, but my nails is looking gross. So I put it right there and I just lift my face like this and I hold it like a couple of seconds. Okay. And that I do like every day. No joke. Like I do this all the time. And if I stay here right now with you and I do this for the next five minutes, you are going to take a note on my laugh line that they are going to be shallow, less deep than they were when I just started. So this, what I'm doing here is helping 
to boots the collagen because I am building and boosting the circulation in my skin. Now, when you go and you get your face done, you get a facelift. What they do, they actually pull the skin up and tighten it somewhere up there, and you're going to have this look. Mm-hmm. That is the look you're going to get. Let mine go. You could see that mine is natural. And that is how I boost the collagen production on my cheekbone by massaging. I also don't have a lot of wrinkles on my forehead. As a matter of fact, I have no wrinkle on my forehead. And someone was extremely rude the other day talking about my forehead and how I am getting so much injection in my forehead that it started to show the dents. No. <laughs> Anyway, yes, they are dents in my forehead, which I am very proud of. And if you follow my channel a while and a regular follower, you would already know the story about these dents in my forehead. They are not from any form of a needle. I actually fell when I was a child running around the house trying not to get my grandma to scrub me down like really, really scrub me down once on the morning. So that is where I got these from. And the honest truth is I would do nothing to get rid of them now. My grandmother is is a past and this is one reminder of her. So I now like to see them. And I always smile when I look at them. All right, so that is where those dents are from. But I do massage my forehead a lot. And I do this every day on my channel. And you guys probably like, you're wearing makeup and you can do that? Yeah, because I don't really wear a lot of makeup to what you guys might think. I, I like my eyebrows put some thing on and I wear a really strong lipstick. And when I do that, then my skin is gonna look like I am fully makeup. But when it comes on to putting makeup on my skin, I do very, very minimal makeup base on my skin. Okay, so that's why I'm able to do all of this with nothing rubbing off. And I tend to wet my sponge in water and then I apply it on my face so I don't get all that thick layer to what people might think. I just, as I said, bright lipstick and that do the trick. All right, so I tend to do that when it comes out to my forehead and I like to do that. And I tend to do this when I am you putting on my facial moisturizer and that is what I do to boot the collagen on my face. It's hot today, whoa, like, Whoa, I'm actually sweating. Anyway, I'm under a lot of lights, guys. So one way, guys, for you out there, the aging gracefully with wrinkles, deep parentheses, upper lip wrinkles, forehead wrinkles, do the facial massages. It's gonna help. It's a no joke. Believe it, guys. Try it. As a matter of fact, while you're watching, just try it. It is like a no joke. It really works and you don't cost a dime. That is as natural and as easy as it gets. Penniless. You don't have to pay for it. So anyone, it doesn't matter how bad or you spend out all the money over the holidays like I did. You don't have any money left to go and, you know, buy any form of a facial product. Then you do that with your hands. That's all you need and probably polish your nails so they don't look bad as mine do today. Now we are moving on and I have a note here because I didn't want to miss the points that I want to talk about today. So I'm trying to work off notes, which don't really work well sometimes. Um, Hello, Inga K. How are you? Happy to see you back. I haven't seen you for a while. And Mistress um, Amram, um, natural way to remove facial hair permanently. That is something that is very questionable. The natural way to remove facial hair permanently is uh, probably to get uh, some electrosis or something like that done like really, really quick, but they are remedies that you have out there that you can use to slow that growth 
process down tremendously, okay? Tremendously. Natural remedy that you can use. It's not going to, like, just go away like that, like, you know, some topics. Get rid of facial hair permanently in seven days. No, 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 no. It's going to take a while, but it definitely will slow the process down. And I have a lot of those on my channel. So you could click on my face when you're done on the all in the chat and um go and watch those facial hair videos melissa brown how are you um chris cola how is the upper lip done okay so for the upper lips take a look at what i'm doing when i put my hand here and i do this what you see is going on with the upper lips it's actually a part of the process but if you want to focus only on the upper lips I normally like to do this. I never share this one. I don't think probably a couple of years ago. I don't know. I don't think I ever share this one. I like to do this and then I press it out without talking though. So for the upper lips, that's what I do. Okay. And I don't have either. And some of us say it's Jamaican good genes. I don't think, I have people in my family that don't really take care of themselves and they don't, they don't have eyes, cheekbones going, it's falling down. Anyway, let's, <laughs> and you know who you are. My family is cool. I could always criticize them. All right, so we need to massage. Now, another way to boost the collagen, and this might be a shocker to some of you, but yes, is to get a good collagen cream, a good cream that is rich with collagen antioxidant. Collagen boosts in antioxidant. No, antioxidant. Now, guys, if you do not know a good collagen-rich cream and you want to make one for yourself, you can try some of those that I post on the channel. A good vitamin that is going to help to boost the collagen is vitamin A. So whenever you're looking for a good collagen boosting cream, make sure it has the antioxidant vitamin A. You also need to look for vitamin C, but a good collagen boots in our good collagen rich cream will not hurt. I have several on my channel that I personally make for myself, the natural ones without all of the chemicals. So if you want a good collagen cream, because I use my own personal collagen fighting cream, collagen boots and cream, and that is no joke. I however know that some that I post on my channel could be a little pricey because I tend to use natural ingredient like special oils and stuff like that, that might be on the pricier side, but I try to be reasonable and I try to give substitute for some of the ingredient and I try to show you guys how to blend and what to use to get your own that you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on a collagen boots and cream. All right, so definitely, guys, to boost the collagen, get yourself a good collagen boots and cream. Some people can afford a good one, some can't. And if you can, then you try some of the natural remedies. Now, the cream is what you're going to use on your skin to layer it on, especially at night. But there are steps that you can take before you get to the cream, like you can use a collagen boots in facial uh, mask on your skin, a collagen boots in facial toner, and you can make those at home pretty, pretty easy. And we have a lot of that on the channel, which we will talk about later on in the show. Now, if you're just joining in, we are talking, we're sharing tips on how to boost the collagen production in your skin, especially your face, your neck, and your décolleté. Now, guys, one thing I forget at the end of the topic I also mentioned about the glow. And what I showed you earlier with me using the highlighter, the highlighter can actually give you that glow, like, you know, a little glow going on. But the good old coconut oil, olive oil, or any of those oil can give you that glow on your skin also after you massage and your lips and all of that. But there's a lot of people out there with natural glow. And I like the natural glow. Okay. So we're going to get to the end part of the topic a little later on. Patricia Singh, Chichi, I love you. All of your tips and remedy. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for your comment. And um, 
We also, hello, Dilabio, how are you? Chichi cheekbones or goals. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. We have King Link. You are knowledgeable. Thank you for that. Kuwait, Kuwait, how are you? Maya, I have eye cheekbones, but as a teenager, I wish they weren't so high. Now I surely appreciate them. Yes, because you know you probably get teased at school about your cheekbones back then when, as you said, no one used to appreciate them. But now people are like going crazy about and paying thousands of dollars to have their cheekbone I like it. Hello, Jackie, ma'am. How are you? Um, Cheryl Wilson. Hi, Chichi. This is my first time joining your chat. I'm a naturalist and many years, uh, for many years, and I appreciate your endorsing natural skincare. Thank you so much and welcome, welcome to our live chat. Um, M. Buji, um, Latua. Hello, every um, every beautiful woman, but you have to be very careful to the ladies who suffer from acne and don't touch your face with hands um, must be very clean. Yes, we do know that there are many out there that suffer, that struggle with acne, not only acne as a teenager, but also adult acne. And what we always suggest is to keep your face clean as the commenter um, person comment is saying, but we also give you remedies and show you tips and how to get rid of those acne. And a good way to do that is to exfoliate your skin and a wonderful ingredient that you can use on your skin to prevent and also to get rid of acne is tea tree oil. Hello, Edith Lampkin. How are you? I tried the dry orange peel in a brown paper bag, but for some reason they add mold on them. And the reason for that is they were a little bit wet. And I actually did a batch the other day and believe it or not, I found um, two pieces with a little bit of mold. And I was so taken aback like, mm, this never happened before. But I'm thinking that the peel was wet. So make sure when you are gonna do it to make sure the orange itself is properly dried, okay? And when you peel, don't peel where, you know, when you break, that part even though i do that all the time and nothing never happened but make sure it don't break the white pit okay just just the outer peel and make sure it is dry so to begin if you're not sure if it's completely dry just leave it on the countertop for a couple of hours or a day or so and then put it in the brown paper bag and i think that's the reason some form of a water actually got on it and she's talking about dried orange peel and tomorrow video guys it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be a facial wash, okay? It's gonna be a facial wash, but it's gonna be in powder form. Anyway, I ain't telling you anything more about it because you gotta watch that. I so so I'm so proud of this mix. It's amazing. It's gonna be on video ready to, to post. It's gonna be on 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, Eastern Standard Time. You don't wanna miss that face wash. It's actually a face wash that can double as a facial mask and also as a facial scrub. You're going to make it your own. You could use it however you want to use it. And if you guys want me to start selling that mix, let me know because that is... Anyway, wait for tomorrow for that video. I'm sure you guys are going to love it. All right. So, um, Angela Martin, how do you... How, how are you? I live in the South and the sun is bad on my skin. How do I keep my face nice and tight? The facial massages and some tightening facial mask. This week, we're gonna bring some good tightening facial mask, okay? If you use, those tightening facial mask is no joke. And they have to boost the collagen, they have to lift and firm the skin, and it's no joke. That facial mask that I make with the egg, and the potato starch is a no joke. If you have not seen that video, you could go and watch it when you're done with the show and try it and come back. But egg white is really good for the skin. Clay, any form of clay mask is good to tighten the skin along with the massages and use some good old vitamin A. Don't use the vitamin A directly on your skin. Mix it with a carrier oil or try one of my homemade remedy that I post on my channel and just use it. Somebody comment this 
this week, today, I think I saw it this morning that there's so many videos. They're so confused. Like, oh, it's too much. It's too much. No, choose one that you think is going to work for you. When you get tired of it, try another one. However, most of the time you're going to have most of the ingredient there and you could try. If you try it and you don't, you know, if one is working for you, you use it for a while. You don't have to try everything because there's so many people watching, like millions of people watching. Therefore, you know, I make the video and each person could just select a couple that they use. I know it's intimidating and I know sometimes you want to try everything, but you just can't try everything. So just try the ones that you have the ingredient for. We are going back to talking about boots and collagen. And one way to boost the collagen is to make sure that your skin is hydrated. Not only your skin, but your body on a whole. Make sure to hydrate, 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 hydrate. And someone asked the question um, sometime this week about hydrating the skin. And if um, I told them, totally forget the question, but they were asking something about whether hydrating and moisturize. Okay, whether hydrating the skin and moisturizing the skin is the same. And I did explain the difference. Hydrate, you know, you drink your water, you put the moisture in the skin, moisturizing the skin. Moisturizes is, is a form of a cream or something that you apply to the skin that is going to, some moisturizer can help to hydrate the skin. So anyway, we won't get back into that. Hello, Auntie Enid, how are you doing? How is the rice and peas going? I am sure that it's already, you know, done, cover up, or you probably eat dinner already. Anyway, back to hydrating the skin. Now, how can we hydrate the skin to boost the collagen production? To hydrate the skin to boost your collagen production, and this is topically now we're talking about, you got to use some refreshing facial mask and also guys here comes the facial toner you need a good facial toner on the skin a facial toner some people someone is was correcting me on one of my um video and they were saying that um oh a facial toner is to get rid of grease and dirt from your skin but no 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 a lot of people tend to mistake a facial toner with a facial estrogen it's two different things okay however some people do use the facial toner to get rid of the remainder of dirt on the skin now i don't use my facial toner the facial toner i use is the moisturizing facial toner that is gonna hydrate the skin okay now when you use a facial toner to remove dirt and grease from your skin they contain alcohol no joke most of them contain alcohol now a facial toner that is going to hydrate the skin that you're going to leave on the skin without rinsing off your skin it's going to hydrate the skin. And I'm going to go into details on another video, just, you know, differentiating the estrogen and the facial toner for some of you guys. Okay. All right. Walking by faith, toner for pH level, alcohol free. And that's what we are talking about. Alcohol free toner help with the pH level of the skin, hydrates the skin, not to clean off the dirt from the skin. We do that with the facial estrogen. All right, Sheila, I, I always enjoy your video. First time actually watching. I need help um, cellulite on my ties. And you're in good, Aunt Sheila, because I have not done one of those videos for a while. And it was yesterday I was going over my older videos and I was like, hmm, I think I'm due to make a cellulite video. So that is going to come up in sometime in the week. But you can actually go on my channel page and look um, for cellulite um, videos. I have a couple really, really good ones on the channel page. All right. So guys, hydrate the skin. Now, that is topically. Now, how do you hydrate the skin from within? You actually drink a lot of water and everybody know that you drink a lot of water, but there are things that you can actually eat to help to hydrate the skin, such as watermelon. Now, watermelon have a lot of water in it, but it have 
properties in it that's going to help to hydrate the skin and also help to boost the collagen production. Now, for some people, too much watermelon might not be good because of the sugar content, but you got to know your limit. Do not sit and eat a big old watermelon every day and say you're hydrating the skin. Be moderate with the amount of watermelon you eat, but it's going to be beneficial for your skin and also for boosting the collagen production in the skin now um we're talking about um diet so we just talk about hydrating and we want we want to talk a little bit about the diet okay now guys some people do take collagen supplement and to each his own if you want to take your collagen supplement go ahead please remember that whatever you take you always have to go to your doctor now i know someone that if they know about something, and I'm not going to say any name, a low Ralton, if they know about something and it's good for them, they tend to like overdo it. So I know this gentleman and he recently discovered uh, merengue and he think that he's supposed to be drinking merengue morning, evening, eating seed and and just going crazy no it do not work like that not because the thing is good for you there is a thing that call portion size okay and you got anything you overdo can affect you if something is very good for your skin and you overdo it it could affect you so moderately guy moderately okay so with let's say the the watermelon don't go overboard especially those of you with uh dia this issue okay all right so we are going to talk about some food and we are getting to the good part we're talking about food and then we're going to talk about you know facial mask and stuff like that now we oh i missed one thing that i should talk about before the diet but anyway let's get into the diet now do you know some food that you could actually eat that help to boost the collagen yes 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 when the collagen slows down there are food that you can eat to actually rub it up some of you like it some of you don't and these are beans beans are good for boots and beans are good for a lot of things some people don't like to eat beans because they think that it make them fart a lot and all of that i like to eat beans i eat a lot of beans since i really don't eat meat so i eat a lot of beans and maybe that's why my cheekbones are going up 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 every day okay i don't know but yes definitely eat some beans and the greens okay do you realize that almost everything when it comes on to the body and you know to protect the body and to help the system to be you know good and to flow right it's all about the greens so you know it's it's really something you want to boost collagen you got to eat right you want to lose weight you got to eat right you want to be healthy you got to eat right and everything that you want to do for your body is surrounded the greens the beans the lean protein so that's actually a message right there you're not gonna hear that oh you want to boost collagen go eat some rice it's never ever like that you want to lose weight go eat some rice no it's always the same food group that you need to eat to stay healthy so basically boots in your collagen production should be like easy breezy especially the fact that it's january and in january a lot of us try to get on the exercise bandwagon, the workout bandwagon, the eating right bandwagon. So it should be easy peasy to boost the collagen right now because most of you might be eating greens right now. Most of you might be, you know, eating healthy. And guys, another way to boost the collagen, which have to do with weight loss, also is to work out. Mm, mm. Mm, no joke when you work out what is happening is the circulation and with that circulation is actually you know revving up all the cells the micro cells and everything in your body and that is making you you you're able to function a little better and that is also helping to boost the collagen production some of you don't like this part of the show i know i know i know but guys it doesn't make sense we come on the show and all we talk about is to cut up some watermelon put some yogurt in it and i'm actually giving a recipe while i'm doing this 
cut up the watermelon, put some yogurt in it, blend it up into a cream, and just use it as a facial mask. If you have a sagging skin, have a little bit of a um, fuller's earth or any form of a clay that you have to that and use it on your skin to tighten the skin and help to boost the collagen production in the skin. I know that's what some of you guys want me to get to and we're getting there right now. We're going to talk about remedies and portion and stuff like that. Now, Jackie Henry, what to use for on the ice bags? And we have a video coming up, not tomorrow, but Tuesday, the video is going to be about dark on the eye circles and eye bags. And the reason I'm making that video is because my dark on the eye circles were like looking at me like this last week, like, whoa. So I had to actually share that with you guys and show you the before and after of how, you know, the remedy that I'm going to share with you is actually working for my dark on the eyes. But I love me some parsley and I love some cucumber. I love some green tea and those are some ingredients that we use with some potato juice of course and marie jardine drink much water yes rose gold yes exercise is important to the way we look and feel um um bougie um um shampoo okay you're giving up shampoo right there katie yardberg please can you do a video on drooping eyelids? And I think someone have been asking about that for a while. And we are definitely going to try to accommodate that. So Melissa, I use rose oil now because you said it is good. Now tell me, Melissa, I said that is good. But are you seeing any result using the rose oil? Please comment. Lisa, do you ever find a source to buy purple clay? I can't. Yes, I do. And... Uh, it's not on Amazon. It's another website. All right. I'm going to try to remember to list it for you. And, uh, def and it's really good pricing also. So I'll, if I don't remember, please remind me. I'll list it for you, the site where I get the purple clay to buy. And I need to bring it back on the show. I don't use a lot of purple clay and a lot of purple rice are like rose powder and these things on the show and the reason for that is because i know most people don't have access to it but it's very very good to use and if you can get it go ahead and use it and i have some video using the purple clay and the purple rice out there so use it if you have access to it all right so guys we are talking about the beans the vegetable and guys for my vegan subscribers you have good news for those of you well some vegan don't really do soy but soy is really good for boots and collagen production as a matter of fact soy milk will help to boost the collagen production in the skin i have some videos using soy milk but research it for yourself when you're done and you're going to be blown away to know how good the soy milk itself is for your skin whether you're gonna digest ingest it or you're gonna use it topically on the skin so if i make a video out there and i use milk in it don't be afraid to use up your soy milk read up on it it's really really good for the skin so we talk about soy beans and guys we're an um algeronic acid for those of you who are familiar with algeronic acid, this is actually an amino acid. And I don't want to go back there because once I start to get too deep about all these acid and stuff, some people tend to get a little bored. They want me to just go about talking about the good stuff. Vitamin C is good for boots and collagen production. And we all know that vitamin C is citrus fruit, a good fruit that is amazing for boots and collagen production and when i say amazing i mean amazing is papaya it's actually one of my favorite food to use for boots and collagen along oh i've not put that video out but guys if you mix that papaya with some avocado mm, i think i'm gonna share that video with you it, you're going to be blown away. If you like yogurt, little papaya, little avocado with a little yogurt, vegan, go ahead, use some coconut cream in it or the good old soy milk, blend that up, put it on your face, your neck, your decollete, and just sit back, relax, take a deep breath. 
Oh, sad. Is the smell of it is amazing. And what that is going to do when you're done, your skin is going to feel like a baby butt. No joke. Soft, soft, but without the wrinkle. Taut. When you touch it, it just bounces back. And that's how you want your skin to be really, really good to boost the collagen. Now, there are so many oils out there that contains vitamin A. And when you're looking for a good oil to boost the collagen in your face, you're looking for vitamin A and vitamin C. It can be separate or it can mix together. Papaya oil, they have so many nice oils out there now, guys. I'm going crazy with these oils. Marula oil, rosehip oil, cacao oil, and all of these oils I call the special oil. These oils that contain any oil that you can find, the Kamu Kamu, I'm going to share that on my channel very soon, is actually taking over from the rosehip and all of that. Watch the Let's Start Skincare Live show on a Friday and you'll get more details about these amazing oils for you your skin if you're just joining in or if you're watching guys give the video a thumbs up show some love show some support feel free to ask question is 45 minutes in and i know i promise that i will do my last 15 minutes of the show taking question and answering question so we did run through a bit of uh you know tips that you can use to boost the collagen production in the skin we do the facial massages which is very important we talk about hydrating the skin we talk about the diet we talk about using the collagen cream what we didn't talk about which we probably won't talk about it today is like the bone broth and all of that since i tend to talk about the bone broth almost every time i talk about collagen so i'm kind of just jumping over it today we talk about eating greens to boost the collagen like collard green like um Kalalu, like broccoli, like green beans and all of these healthy stuff is what is going to help your skin to look amazing. No joke, no joke, no joke. How do you fix sagging neck? You fix the sagging neck by doing or uh, using a good neck mask. And I have some amazing, no joke. It's not because it's my remedies why I'm saying this, but I have some amazing Fish neck mask on my channel. They are like some no joke. Hello, Loretta Grace. How are you? I'm all total. How are you? And very, very good neck mask along with doing some neck massages and when you apply anything to your neck and i was showing this on my last live video anything to your neck you bring it up hop and oh like you could take it all the way from the temple right here and you take it all the way to the tip of your ears right here all the way up and you hold it like that okay and that's just the way they lift the skin on your neck when you go to get a procedure done for getting rid of the wrinkles from your neck so you apply the pressure not too much pressure and you hold for a couple of minutes and you let go that's what you do right after you use your neck mask which is just as good as those facial masks so guys play around with stuff i know i know i know skincare is going nowhere okay skincare is going nowhere and for 2020 and i'm sure guys you're gonna come back probably in the year and come in for 2020 natural skincare is going nowhere as a matter of fact if you go out there and you read the grapevine you're gonna notice that for 2020 natural skincare is gonna be even more than 2018 and 2019 it's not slowing down most people are turning to natural skincare and that's why when you go to get your favorite cosmetics these days you're going to notice there's a lot of stuff that is going to be like natural 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 no preservative natural 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 the downsides to those things is they have a shorter shelf life but if you want natural that's what comes with natural so no very soon no longer you're gonna go buy a collagen boots and cream and it's gonna have on it one year no 
very soon you're going to see that it's only lasting for three months because they're taking out all the preservative because most people are turning to natural skincare. I know this is Sunday chit chat and not let's talk skincare with Chicha Beauty. So I don't want to stray. I just want to keep it Sunday chit chat. But if you want to hear more about the details about products and stuff like that behind the scene and what goes into these products, then watch Let's Talk Skincare with Chicha Beauty every Friday at 130. Now I have a little quick interjection for you guys. For those of you who watch the Let's Talk Skincare on a Friday, it is at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard. I am thinking that it is a bit early. So I am wondering if maybe we should move that show a little later and probably even change the day. So for those of you who watch, comment, 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 and let me know your thoughts on whether it is too early or you think it would be, be do better if we move it to a later time, okay? All right, so we're talking about boots in the collagen in the skin. We are talking about tips and tricks that you can do. I actually gave you guys a wonderful remedy just now that you can use to boost the collagen production in the skin, drinking water and all of that. Sandra Levy, under eye bags, we need help with that and Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. We have so many remedies on the show. As I said, we have a video coming up Tuesday with the under eye bags, but the good old cucumber never fail, okay? It never fail, and guess what? Mixing that cucumber, I use a lot of parsley. I'm not joking about that. I use a lot of parsley under my eyes because that helps with the good old cucumber. And we also, anyway, we have some amazing remedy on the chat and on the channel. So do that and wait for Tuesday video because I almost give away the video already. So wait for the Tuesday video. We're gonna, and it's gonna be a little different. You're gonna see the stuff we use. It's not something that you won't have access to, but it is an amazing remedy for dark circle eye bags and also puffy eyes. All right, um, praise hallelujah. Excellent. Thank you for that. And we have um Lucy, that Lucy Serrano, what do what to do for severe puffy eyes. And I see that's a, a topic. So you know what I'm going to do next week? We're going to talk about eye bags, puffy eyes, and all of that good stuff. So right there is my topic. And it's not only on the chat that I get that a lot. I get that in my mailbox a lot, a lot, a lot. So we're just going to center the video next week around all about the eyes. And I probably will come on here without any form of a makeup just to show minds, okay? What do you think about using tapes on wrinkle? You know, the honest truth is um, it's an old remedy, and I'm going to use the word remedy where people tape up the wrinkle. It's an old remedy, and people normally get results before technology has, has increased this much, and you might still find some people using it, and some celebrity even still use the taping remedy for, you know, making certain things look a little good. So if you want to try it, why not? Why not? But, you know, it's temporary, okay? It's temporary. But if you tape it up, on a regular, you never know what might happen. And we probably should talk about that very soon. If you don't know what we're talking about, guys, is some people actually tape up the wrinkles for it to smooth or with the tape, they figure that if they leave it there, it's just gonna set just as though you'd use a facial mask. And Chichi, I miss your tea show um, of getting rid of fat, etc. And I actually have some of those, um, Lucy, that I was thinking about doing over and adding new stuff. So I will bring back some of those this year. All right. So Carmela, oh, Carmelita Clark. I teach you, this is Amika Mommy. I just want to, to know how to tighten um, your chest and your buttocks. So we have some of those. I don't make those videos anymore. And the reason why, because most of the time when we make those videos, we get a strike, like a yellow marking on our, um, 
on our videos. So that is why we kind of stray from it. But I used to have some, I think some is still on the channel. Some I take down because they're so sensitive with those words. However, they are, you know, doing some shuffling around where like my videos now, they're not made for kids. So I don't know if I post those what will happen but i'll see how it goes okay so we don't want to talk about it until we are sure that the the the, the way is clear for those videos once more um ramsey um ferran i love you from france and i love you right back and we also have um uh empower the world what's a good way to tighten cheeks and and drawers and guess what you just miss it like when the first show is over just watch the first part of the video because we did a full demonstration of that how to tighten the cheek area and we didn't do the jaw but we have some videos on it and um i definitely will post some new videos with it all right we're taking question guys if you're just joining we're talking about collagen and we share tips and how to boost the collagen guys it's so hot here today anyway i i think it's just the eat in the house outside is cold just inside here is a little warm so we talk about boosting the collagen what to eat what to drink let me give you a quick 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 and easy collagen boots in facial serum quick 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 if you have vitamin a capsule some of you don't a lot of you don't i know that i know that so we're not going to put the vitamin e let's omit that but if you have it some of you do have it we're going to take one a little bit or if you have an oil that contain vitamin a let me tell you some oils carrot seed oil vitamin a papaya seed oil have vitamin a rosehip oil have vitamin a so any of those that you have with vitamin a you are going to take a teaspoon of any of those oils that i just mentioned you're going to get some either coconut oil or some olive oil or even some almond oil and you're going to use a teaspoon of that oil you're going to mix it with the special oil that i just mentioned and just mix the two oils together and there you got a good collagen boots in oil simple as that and it's no joke okay it's no joke and the reason why you just turn a simple two ingredient oil into a collagen boots in oil is because of the richness of the vitamin a okay vitamin a has to boots collagen it is one of the main oil for collagen in the skin okay guys there's something i think i had here retinol um yes i forget totally to talk about retinol and retinol is an anti um antioxidant that boots and increase the lifespan of collagen and this is for another show and i've I'm going to talk about retinol in another show. But for those of you who know what retinol is, you get yourself a cream that contains retinol. It's going to help with the collagen production, the boost in the collagen in your skin. I'm watching my time. That's why I just raised that part off. Okay, so guys, um, Atara, I bought papaya oil for, for after watching. And let me know, are you loving that papaya oil? I so love mine. I'm, I'm probably about three bottles in now. That's how amazing it is. And that actually, I got the the um, Rita, Rita Holmes was the one who told me like, oh, guess what? The papaya oil is out there somewhere. So I so appreciate that. Arlene Collins, hello. Um, good evening from Jamaica. And how are you doing out there in Jamaica? Is it sunny out there? I am going to be visiting Jamaica soon. So I'll keep you guys up to date. Eddie um, Brock, B-R-O-C-K, how are you? And we also have um, Cheryl Wilson for vegan avocado is an excellent source of collagen, which can be added to our diet. And I totally forget to talk about eating the avocado. Now, if you want a full show talking about avocado, there um, two weeks ago on Let's Talk Skincare, we did a full show talking about avocado, all of the electrolytes. We talk about the potassium in avocado we talk about the calcium and all that good stuff so if you want the full show on the avocado 
watched two videos ago, Let's Talk Skincare on Chitty Beauty Channel. And it's also under that playlist. But it's very good to eat and it's very good for the skin. Now, just to give you a little idea why we were talking about avocado, because for 2020, they are now turning to electrolytes. They are now discovering that the electrolytes is what that's going to help to keep the skin looking younger, firmer, boots in the collagen, and glowing radiant. So they are turning to ingredients that contains electrolytes and the best natural ingredient out there that we can use on our channel to help with the electrolytes, the firming, the tightening the skin is the avocado. So that's one of the reasons why we went into details and you're gonna see a lot, like a lot of avocado recipe on the channel this year because we're keeping up with the time with what is going on in the natural skincare world, okay? So you hear it first, right here. Pauline McCoppin, Bahamas Online. Hello over there in Bahamas. How are you guys doing? Do you guys are like, you know, slowly but surely recovering nicely? Let me know from the hurricane we're talking about. Okay, so Mistress Iron, which face wash you use? I have combination skin. Please rec recommend which one is the best. Now, tomorrow video is a face wash, a natural face wash. I'm excited about it because I know you guys are gonna like it. There's some things that I make that I'm like, ah, oh, one of them gonna like it. But the video for tomorrow face wash, I know you guys are gonna like it. So stay tuned for that. And that is what I've been using all week. So the thing that is, I cannot write, write or be like, oh, this face wash is good. I'm going to recommend this face wash for you because I'm all over the place with face wash. I like to use the ones I make and I sometimes get a lot of face wash in the mail from like, you know, um, skincare company that are creating um, natural face washes that they want me to try and feature on the channel. Sometimes I have them, sometimes I don't. We are going to be doing, I think I'm going to take some of those over my vlog ch channel to share with you guys. I'm really not so good at reviewing the people products. So sometimes I just don't bother to take them, but I get a lot of things to try and to hear. And if I come on here all the time showing you guys the skincare products, you guys probably would just like what happened to the real stuff, the natural stuff. So that is the reason why I don't bring it on, but I try a lot and I use my own. And the one I'm using is the one I'm posting tomorrow, which you guys don't want to miss. Really good, really, really good. And have a long shelf life also. So praise hallelujah. You need to come to Jamaica with all the products. I'm definitely coming very, very soon. All right, Taran. Hello, Taran. How are you? Thank you for that. Great show. Taurus, what uh, does skin exfoliate? Do, can I ever do a show without talking about exfoliating the skin? You got to exfoliate, 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 exfoliate. Simple remedy, brown sugar, olive oil. As simple as it gets. Have a... Um, um, Baking soda, coconut oil, simple. Blended rice with a little bit of a lemon juice. Exfoliate your skin, mix the two together, rub it on your skin for about three minutes, rinse off two to three times a week, and you're good to go. Really good for dark spot. I like to use the good old potato juice. Potato juice is really a no joke when it comes on to dark spot. You can actually mix some potato juice with some milk or even the same yogurt because it has the lactic acid. You can actually mix some yogurt with a little bit of a turmeric powder and that is going to help and some potato juice and it's going to help to clear your skin from the dark spot along with exfoliating the skin. Beatrix and that's my mama name. Kitchi, um, Getting smoker lines on my nose and mouth. How can I plumb this up? I'm only 27. And you know something? I could tell that you were late for the show because we talk about that at the top. We do a full demonstration. So when you're done, just go back and watch the first part of the show. And you're going to see how to plump those lips up and also how to massage it to get rid of the lines. And I have a video on lip plumper, a whole video. If you could go on my page, search for that video, some amazing tips is in that video for your concern. All right, so um, net, netty, netty, but how can I fix avocado so it um, 
palatable to me i ate the taste of avocado okay if you really want to eat avocado and you're not really liking the taste um get a good blend of italian seasoning one that contains lavender leaves that's the one i am using and i it's so expensive that i now started buying my own dry lavender leaves my own um Italian seasoning and I just blend the two together, but that's give it a really unique taste and dress it up Just put a little of that mixture of leaves in some olive oil mix it up pour it over your olive um, Your avocado and drops two slices of tomato in there <laughs> You really really good that is gonna really take away the taste that you don't like give it a try and come back and let me know That's something I eat all the time guys. I, I basically just give you one of the recipe that if i'm coming by your house and you have that for me i'm good you don't have to prepare anything else um so donna is um allergic to melon so you don't have to eat melon to hydrate your skin drink some coconut water i totally forget that and we're gonna bring some coconut water recipe on the channel also with facial toners okay so coconut water is good to hydrate the skin now trendy commodities where is a good place to buy organic or natural oils in bulk also shea mango coconut i actually have send me an email because ain't giving them a free commercial right now but send me an email and i'll tell you where you could get those things to buy in bulk all right so we have mari mar uh, maria where do i get a shea butter and i get my shea butter off of amazon like you know like you could get real good one just search for a good vendor though you got to be mindful of the vendor okay all right so um we also have mistress um amran um tomorrow so same time you will come to talk about oh if i'm coming tomorrow to talk about the face wash the video is going to be up on the channel it's going to be posted at 10 a.m tomorrow for the face wash so that's what you're going to it's not going to be live it's going to be a video so definitely and i'm not saying it's going to be up 10 o'clock tomorrow and it's not going to be there no it's already ready ready to just post for tomorrow morning all right so watch out for that um anisha blackwell you are a beauty saver thank you so much for that um so guys let me see where i am uh all right so if you are still viewing on my end lucy i'm seeing 132 likes i'm not sure what you're seeing on your end but if you're still watching and you have not yet give the video a thumbs up please give the video a thumbs up as a matter of fact let's take this up to at least 150 to 200 likes since you're still watching the button is right below we don't stress it but it's there for a reason especially on the live show when you thumbs up the live show it you know it boots the rating on the show it really helped the channel so just look below where you see the thumbs up and thumbs up the video especially if you like the topic just to support the live chat it's totally different from the videos the thumbs up really do help the live chat so support support by thumbs in the video up all right so we have met Vic Boyd how can I tighten and lift the face and definitely another late person at the top of the hour we did that this week I am gonna come up with another massaging video for the face because it's in demand so i'm gonna come out so watch my channel if you're watching the live chat and you have not like you know be a a constant watcher of the the channel page the videos then you need to just click on the little bell that you're seeing right beside the word subscribe and if you click on that bell and you turn notification on on your phone each time i upload a video you will get the notification we kind of slowed down at the end of last year but we are coming back up coming february we are coming with a lot of good stuff a lot of natural stuff and a lot of unusual stuff but very effective stuff so you don't want to miss and we are also doing more of these kind of show where we take questions and answers and you know just be a family so you guys could be more a part of you know the channel itself so feel free to click that little bell at the side and also when you're watching just comment and all comment is good and thumbs in up the video is good for your support all right so um 
We have um, Empower Justin. Thank you so much. If you're still watching, let's take the video up. The thumbs up. Very, very good. Just support the channel by thumbs in it up. And I could also see when I talk a lot about thumbs up, people just, you know, like, oh, let's go. One thing I forget to talk about is, well, a couple of remedies I have here that I wanted to talk about. Time is going. Basil leaf is good for boots and collagen. If you take basil and you eat it, sprinkle it on your food, you cook with it, or you even take it and make some tea with it, with no sugar, drink that. It's going to help to boost the collagen. Another ingredient that is really good is cinnamon. Cinnamon is good for a lot of things, okay? So cinnamon is good. Sprinkle it on your toes. Sprinkle it over your smoothie. Mix a little bit with some water. Drink it. It's good. Pomegranate is good. Pomegranate is good pomegranate and now they have the pomegranate oil they have the pomegranate powder for smoothies and all of that facial mask and stuff so you can't go wrong and you also have the fresh pomegranate that you can use to boost the collagen in your skin and how could i not talk about green tea and how could i not talk about aloe vera gel those are other ingredients that you can use you can actually use it topically or you could drink the green tea to help to boost the collagen production now um lori i like my jade roller to help and we are going to bring a lot of these on the show also we're going to talk about jade roller we're going to talk about ice roller we're going to talk about all these good stuff on the channel and some of you guys are going to be getting some facial steamer and stuff like that those a few who are getting some gifts from you know the giveaways all right so um my time is up guys i wish i could talk a little more but for those of you who are coming to watch the show after you know a hour is long for them so i hope you guys learned something okay and don't walk away just like oh the show is over what i would like you guys to do is to just Try some things for yourself, okay? Try some things. What the ch channel is all about is trying things, you know, whipping up things in your kitchen, but it's also about a feeling good about yourself. Now, someone might be like, do I really need to do facial to feel good about myself? Not really, but the fact that when you take the time to do it, it's actually calming, it's actually a time you take for yourself, which some people have such busy schedule that they don't have that little special time. So it, it goes hand in hand with a lot of things. It helps you to look good, it helps you to relax, and it helped you to, you know, find something to do for you, really. So that's what why we talk so much about mixing it, the process, you're know, searching for the ingredient, all of that, knowing you're doing something for yourself. Um, Charmaine Knight, good evening. My first time here. Thanks very much for being so informative to my to treat my cell cellulite bad okay so we're definitely gonna do the cellulite video root broadly thank you so much take care and stay safe love and hugs from england and love you right back magdalene blessed and wonderful week wait wait and we also have joan samson how to get your products in antigua and that is coming up this year we're gonna have a like a, a launch and all of that good stuff is coming up this year and we definitely will talk more about it. We don't want to jump the gun. We just want to wait. And then it's going to be like, yeah, my product is here. All natural, 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 natural. So that's my show today, guys. We talk about collagen. We share the tips of how to boost the collagen, how to lift and firm the skin with facial exercises. We talk about collagen supplement. We talk about the diet stuff you could eat to boost the collagen, drink water to hydrate the skin. And one thing you need to do, guys, you need to also sleep. Okay, you need to sleep. Some of us don't get a lot of sleep, but you need to sleep. And what is your email address? Chichibuti at gmail.com. And it's right in the description box below. A lot of products that I do talk about, if you are interested in them, you could click the little drop down arrow right below the video. And there is the description box. In that box, you're going to find a lot of things. My Snapchat, my Instagram, my Facebook page, all the products I talk about, my website. You're going to find all of that in that description box. So click on links and support support the channel. Now, guys, we need a couple more. Oh, let me see if I could take this to 30 thumbs up 
30 more thumbs up. If you're watching and you have not yet thumbs the video up, look below. You're going to see the little thumbs up. Let's take this to 200 thumbs up before we end the show. So we could actually, you know, say, oh, we start the new year really, really good with 200 thumbs up. It really helped the channel and it also helped the system to push the video more so that more people will get a chance to come over and enjoy our live chat. So if you have not yet thumbs up, look below and give the video a thumbs up and see if we could take this up. We need about 26 more thumbs up to take it up to 200. So let's do five minutes more and wait for you guys to thumbs up the video before we go. While we are waking, waiting, let's do some announcement. And also, let me see, I'm trying to go through the, the comments to see if I could take a quick comment from someone that really need a question answer. Um, we are um, Velma, please um, help crow's feet and drooping eyes. And see what I mean? A lot of people want to hear about the drooping eyes. So we're definitely going to do Tuesday video is going to be on how to get rid of all of those stuff around the eyes. So wait for that video. Um, we have um, facial exercise, Blair. Thank you so much. You are um you what are your recommendations for all our eyes i see what i mean and we also have um um uh, marta yolanda we have um fernet porter good evening we also have mavic how can i tighten and lift the face we have um um don't ever leave okay i'm still right here laurie great woman inspiring love you that laurie lynch and I don't see all the comments. I wish I could see all the comments, but I don't see all the comments. Okay, guys, so we're looking for 12 more thumbs up. And let's do some announcements while we are at it. We are going to be introducing um, membership on this channel, okay? We just have a few things more before we get into membership. Now, membership is a little tricky, and that's the reason why I didn't introduce it to the channel before, because you have to actually pay for membership. This channel here, this talking and everything will always be free, always be free. But if you want to like know more about me, that things that I don't post on the channel, if you want to have like a group chat with me, let's say with just 10 people, that is how the membership comes in. And you have different, different prices and different levels of membership where it's not going to kill you. I think the cheapest is like $1.99 a month, something like that. But I will talk about membership um, more. And that is just an exclusive, like for my die artist subscribers that want more and the channel is not giving them everything they need you could have one-on-one -on -one, you could have group meeting you could have live chat face to face and stuff like that that's what it's a lot of work for membership to be honest with you guys but i've been told that it's about time that i um you know do the membership on my channel so i will have to go along with the flow and put it out there so i'll tell you a little more about it later as it rolls around but it have nothing to do with this regular chat everything remained the same except you're gonna have some people that are members now when they become members when they come on the chat however you're gonna note that they're members because they're gonna have a different kind of an emoji or something like that to tell you that they are a member of the channel so that's how it works so we'll talk about it more and what i think around about february it's gonna come on stream on the channel also another thing on the channel that we don't talk about and every day i'm told why don't you talk about it if you look below your i need nine more thumbs up guys nine more to get me to um 200 if you're just joining in show your love show some support by you know giving the video a thumbs up now where was i um Okay, so the dollar sign, okay, the dollar sign is also going to work really, really well with membership. Now, the dollar sign that you notice right where you're talking, and there's a smiley face, and there's a dollar sign, what the dollar sign is for is when the chat is loaded with people. Let's say you're doing a chat, and you have like 200 people on the chat, and you this this is one of the reasons why I don't see all the comments. And you want me to see the comment, or you want the moderator to see your comment, you could uh, hit that dollar sign and you could contribute something. I think you could contribute 50 cents, one dollar, two dollars, all the way up to I think five hundred dollars. Okay, you once you hit that, then your 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 name is gonna be highlighted with your 
comment. So if you want me to answer a question, you can actually hit that dollar sign, donate a dollar to the show, and your name is going to be right up there. Now, when people start to do that, and if people start to use that dollar sign, I have a great idea what I'm going to do with that money. Because, yes, the money is going to come to the channel, but I have a great idea. And, and I could actually tell you from now, what I would do with that, I would put it in the piggy bank for the end of year giveaway. Okay? So if you want to use it, you use it. It's right there. You're not forced to use it. You can use it. You don't have to use it, but it's there. And I don't really talk about these things, but I have to because I'm a part of YouTube and that's why they place it there. All right, guys. So three more thumbs up and we are, I'm so excited. Guys, you don't want to miss tomorrow video. It's a facial wash and it's a dry wash. That's all I can say about it. I am sure you guys are going to love it. It has ingredients that most of you already have access to. It's a really wonderful blend and you need to watch the video and watch it to the end. Okay. I love you guys. Three more thumbs up. If you're just joining in and you have not yet thumbs up, just give the video a thumbs up. It's the new year. We're trying to take the chat to the next level and what have the chat on the YouTube platform is the thumbs up and also the comment. So once you're watching, comment, even if you don't say anything, put a smiley face, a tap, just do something to show your love to the channel. Have a wonderful week, guys. I love you guys so much. One more thumbs up and I'm out of here. I'm going to try to cook dinner today. Uh, yeah, it's almost six o'clock here in New York, but I'm going to try to cook dinner. Um, thank you for 200 thumbs up. Thank you so much. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to whip something up. What am I going to cook? I think I'm going to whip up some tofu with some zucchini and a little bit of a, guess what, rice. A little bit of a wild rice, something to that effect. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Do some facial. Boots the collagen. Watch the video over if you missed the facial exercises. Go on my channel page. Support the channel. Search for the videos that with the topic you're looking for. If you missed the weekly lineup, go back. Watch them over. Share them on your social media. Just have fun with it and take care of you. Take care of you because if you don't, no one else is going to do it for you. Relax and take a few minutes for yourself. I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow in my next video. Next fr this Friday, um, 1.30, let's talk skincare. And I'll see you next week, same time, 4.30 p.m. right here for another in our series. Let's sun the chit-chat with Chitty Beauty. Bye-bye. Thank you, Lucy.